Northern Cardinals are probably the most familiar birds, even to non-birders. Males sport a red color one can't forget, and even the duller female has tinges of red in her drab feathers that catches the eye. They frequent backyard feeders and are very popular on holiday cards, ornaments, and they are the state bird of seven states, which is more than any other bird, proving just how adored they are. Northern Cardinals are also the mascot of prominent sports teams and schools. There is a bunch more interesting and fun things about these charming birds, so let's explore some of them. Enjoy! Males and females sing sweet tunes. In summer, the sweet whistles of northern cardinals are one of the first sounds of the morning. Their songs are described as sounding like a rich cheer 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 cheer, sweet 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 sweet, or purdy 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 purdy. Northern cardinals have around 16 distinct calls which are used in many ways, such as to warn of predators as part of their courtship display, pair bond maintenance, to defend their territory, or to let their mate know they are coming with food. Many people assume that when they hear a bird sing, it is a male. However, new research has shown that many species have females who sing too. This is the case with northern cardinals. The female sings as well. Mostly she sings with her mate, often duetting together a similar song. She also sings from the nest. Although both sexes sing together during the breeding season, they also sing almost the entire year. Females often sing in seclusion, whereas males sing exposed at the top of a tree. Good Fathers Male northern cardinals are probably one of the most devoted bird dads out there. They are known to be extremely protective over their mate and babies, so much so that they'll risk their life trying to save them. Cardinals can live fairly long lives. The oldest recorded northern cardinal was from a non-captive female. She was 15 years, 9 months old when she was found in Pennsylvania. That's pretty impressive. On average though, northern cardinals live 3 years in the wild, but several individuals have had lifespans of 13 to 15 years. And the longevity record for a captive northern cardinal is an impressive 28 and a half years. The crest reveals their mood. Many people know that the crest of a blue jay or stellar's jay can signify what kind of mood they are in, and that's the case for cardinals too. If the crest is lowered, they are relaxed, but if it's raised and pointed, they are agitated. And just like with blue jays, cardinals too take on a rather odd look during their molt, losing all of their head feathers, resulting in a cardinal that looks rather like a vulture. No one is sure why some birds molt in this way, but within a few weeks all the feathers grow back and they are their normal pretty selves again. Sometimes get divorced or cheat on their partner. Cardinals are monogamous. Usually they have a single partner for life, and pairs will remain together even through winter. However, pairs do sometimes split up, which typically occurs the next breeding season. Studies have shown that up to 20% of pairs split up by the next season. One study of an Ohio population found that of 10 bandit pairs, 2 divorces happened between seasons, and 2 divorces out of 21 bandit pairs occurred within seasons. Although more pairs remain together, it isn't always a faithful union. Cheating does happen. DNA fingerprinting studies reveal that 9-35% to of young come from extra pair paternity. retains their beautiful red color all year long. Because cardinals don't migrate and don't molt into a dull plumage like other birds such as American goldfinches, they provide a breathtaking scene in the snowy backdrops of winter. Although it's the males who are bright red, the female's subtle pinkish hues goes beautifully with the male's vibrant red, creating a lovely sight, a breath of fresh warm air on cold winter days. This is the type of image that is usually on holiday cards, and there is no shortage of cardinal-inspired ornaments and other decorative things. Expanding their range Since the early 1800s, northern cardinals have been expanding their range northward. Formerly, they were more common in warmer climates, such as the southeast of the U.S. However, now they are common through most parts of the United States east of the Rocky Mountains, and even a few places in southern Canada. 
It is thought that an increase in winter bird feeders, as well as their ability to adapt to parks and suburban human habitats, has made it easier for them to survive colder climates. The northern cardinal has been introduced to a few places too, California, Hawaii, and Bermuda. Named after cardinals of the Roman Catholic Church. Many North American birds were named by the first colonists from England when they arrived in America. Although these birds already had names, but early colonists had a hard time understanding Native Americans, so they came up with their own names. As you probably already know, our American robin was named after their beloved robin back in England, even though the two species aren't at all related. This was because of their similar reddish colored breast. They also named the Baltimore Oriole for its bright colors, which matched the colors on the family crest of Lord Baltimore. For the cardinal, the bright red color of the males reminded them of the red color of the robes of cardinals in the Roman Catholic Church. They also have many other names, such as Redbird, Common Cardinal, or just Cardinal, which was its name prior to 1985. And other names include Cardinal Grosbeak, Virginia Nightingale, Cardinal Bird, Cardinal Redbird, Virginia Redbird, and Crested Redbird. Rare individuals can be yellow. You may be familiar with Mr. Yellow, a male yellow cardinal in Alabama that caught plenty of attention last winter. Yellow cardinals are very rare. The reason he is yellow rather than red is thought to be due to a rare mutation in the genes of cardinals. Cardinals and other colorful birds such as goldfinches or orioles get their color from the yellow, orange, and red pigments called carotenoids, which is found in their food. Mostly, they eat yellow pigmented foods, but can transform that color into orange or red. For the rare yellow cardinals, the mutation blocks the color changing pathway, diluting the red pigment to yellow. He's such a lovely cardinal, don't you think? Adorable anger issues. When spring hits, many birds are hormonal. They become more aggressive. This is because they need to be prepared to protect their mate and babies, as well as their territory from intruders. One peculiar but funny phenomena people often see with northern cardinals during spring is that of a particularly feisty one in a fight with its reflection in the car mirror or a shiny car bumper. You'd think that after a few minutes they'd give up, but apparently these fights can go on for hours. As the weeks and months go by and their aggression decreases, these attacks end, although it was reported that one female kept up this behavior every day or so for six months without stopping. Seeing a cardinal attacking its reflection has to be a funny thing to witness. However, I'm sure they must get quite ticked at this imposter that just won't seem to back down no matter what they do. I hope you guys enjoyed these interesting facts. It was a much more challenging video to make because I do not have northern cardinals in my area. So I cannot go out there and capture videos or photos of them or get to observe them with my own eyes. This video would not have been possible without the wonderful people who allowed me to use their lovely videos and pictures. It is only fair that I give a big thank you to them. Ricky Montgomery, he allowed me to use his cardinal videos. In fact, most of the cardinal videos were his. Links to his Facebook page and channel are in the description. Check them out. Robert, owner of Front Yard Video YouTube channel, he allowed me to use his beautiful cardinal nesting video. A link to his channel is in the description. Check him out as well. Jeremy Black, he was kind enough to allow me to use one of his pictures of Mr. Yellow in my video. All of his social media links are in the description box. Make sure to check him out to keep up to date with how lovely Mr. Yellow is doing. Brandon Tate for his cardinal singing video. Lindsay's Vids for allowing me to use her female cardinal singing video. Link to her channel and Facebook page is in the description box as well. Project Baloney for allowing me to use his video of a male cardinal singing. His channel link is in the description as well. And a big thanks to everyone else. I've wanted to make a video about these wonderful birds for some time, and I get a lot of requests for it. I am thankful beyond words because I know how hard it is to capture great videos of birds. You guys rock! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and don't forget to check out all the wonderful people who helped make this video possible. Happy birding!